right, so you're unhurt. Uh, why not an open mouth? The student shudders and throws a panic. Calm down. Uh, soothing voice. You manage to calm the student. She thanks you for your smile. Oh. Uh. I'm not taking anything just yet. Like I said, this might be one of those times where I want to use the bandage. Um. Actually, I think that's what I want. Whoa, whoa, whoa. And next I check until next scenario. Fuck. Um, that's not it. What am I looking for? Oh, this. No, that's not it. It's this. Thank you for your help, says a young woman. When you are when you're asked about the professor telling her, she said she's been spending a lot of time in the library lately. I noticed she kept a book in her bag. I didn't notice the title, but I saw the author's name was Y. The page was if you can find the book, it might tell you what she was researching. Looks like it might help. Clue added. God damn it! Whoop. The student looked nervous, perhaps shaken by whatever read in the paper. Have you heard? He asked, Professor, telling her his body disappeared from the cemetery. The only witness of the Albert Hatcher, the gravekeeper, whatever he saw drove him mad. What could it be? You feel the stability of your mind. Shatter. Professor Tillinghast's body vanished from the cemetery? How ghastly. Who on earth would steal my corpse it must have been grave robbers of course it isn't as though i could have leapt up and walked away this albert hatcher is our only witness we should visit him when we're done here okay uh the young woman is hiding in the classroom says she was first telling her students she still appears frightened. Perhaps you can coax more information out of her. Oh, uh, question? Oh, Jesus Christ. As you question the student, she says, a few months ago, the professor asked me to return a book to the library. I returned it without looking at what it was. I remember it was, it was a large yellow book. Okay. Large yellow book. And writing a letter is difficult to make out since go on and on deciphering the note. You find the scribes astronomical observations, but one of the professor telling her students a number of sequential sequential dates are crossed off without notes, as uh, as if the professor missed several classes. Uh, what else is here? Hey, dirty bandages. Uh, plain cloth. Uh, move. Sandy check for target. Okay. Still better than dying. <laughs> Small telescope pointing out the window and toward another window. However, use last was peeping Tom. Whoever used this last was peeping Tom. Uh, locked display case full of rocks, some with astronomical origins. All right. 
And what about this? A lot of ancient cultures regarded constellations presenting the most recent topic addressed in this class. And you. I guess I will actually take this coffee now. Alright. And now we'll go back to the library because now we're looking for a book, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, here we go. It's yellow. Wait, 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 hold on. She said the book she turned was big. It had a Y on it, right? It was Y. Alright, here it is. S to Z. What? Oh, wait. <coughs> Bless me. S to Z. Oh, all right. It's, it's time to reset the clock. <laughs> Is it a time for the pocket watch? Well, I mean, I may not need the pocket watch to shut. Alright, now I need the pocket watch. <laughs> Use. Thank you. Uh, the big uh, Decker specifically astronomical observations. Stars, constellation, comets. What the? F you said it had a big ass fucking Y on it. Why? She said it was yellow. It was big. Features book, Earth and the Moon. This one? Uh, there you that's why it fills the bookcase. Many famous names like uh, Okay, maybe maybe I need to look at the notes. Oh uh, Last center objectives. So for tree, what was taken from Professor Tellinghurst's office? Find a mission about Professor Tellinghurst. Investigate the library. Uh, okay. Trader Hurt. Brother was doing experiments on her own. A student saw a library book written by. Y page and professor's bag. So you return a yellow book into the library for the professor. <sighs> y page. Oh, it's P. It's P. From zoology, human anatomy. No, it wasn't. Was it? Wasn't it? Uh, shit! 
I'm gonna get another check and it's gonna kill me. Oh no. Ugh. God damn it. I gotta save because I'm about to die. Why page? Wait, what the? Fill in cellular with your indexes, dictionaries, all manners of helpful books. Uh, huh. Alright, book by Tillinghurst. Here it is again, the herd of Algidi. There's some sort of astronomy club. That explains the professor's interest. They're based in New Orleans. Perhaps that's where the professor went on her trip. That makes sense, since she circled the name in the book. I do feel a pang of guilt at defacing a book in such a manner. I must have had a very good reason for it. I think we visited all the places Professor Tillingist worked in the university. It's about time we returned to Norman's office. Perhaps he's made some headway with those notes. And then let it measure how the song ends. Add it to notebook. Clue added to the notebook. Alright. Uh Showing Professor Tangas, Lieutenant Professor Withers. Did I do everything though? I feel I did. Uh, this is an astronomy club. Yeah, right, I guess I'll just go back. Alright. Somehow I made it. Gotta be careful though. You discover a small notebook. So I'm apparently meant to conceal examining a notebook more closely. You realize there's correspondence between two different people who seem to be communicated by leaving messages for each other. Much of the content seems to be boring gossip, but one ent entry stands out. While Professor Tellinghurst was away, I took the book from her desk and hid it in the old chest and debate room. You know, the one with the fake bottom letter we should figure out where it really is wait a minute <laughs> uh move okay also you can't put more bandages in there Uh, and it's just a specimen. Uh huh. Find a pair of crib sheets for exam multiple copies. Different answers to developing questions at the top of each sheet is a price. Alright. Lies open. Oh, thank God. We gained sanity for once. Notebook lies open on the desk. This page is filled with illegible but passionate writing. Whichever student made the notes loved his studies. His enthusiasm is infectious, and you feel a surge of hope. You can learn everything you need to solve this mystery. A celestial globe depicting constellations. Uh, hello. Oh, no. Fine bus, oaken wardrobe. There's no lock, but you can make the door 
open. You can't make the door budge to break it open. Uh... Thank you. Crawls, tears you from inside. Low physical damage. Shit! Force open. Shake? You have to shake this shit? That doesn't make any goddamn sense. Uh, range defense bonus. Uh, negative 15 move distance. Alright. God damn. So, I think I'm done in here. Yeah, looks like I'm done. Now, what classroom are we going to? Uh, in a chess, in a debate class. Studies book. In a debate classroom. Alright, so where the fuck is the debate classroom? These are the classrooms right here. Chest with a fake bottom. Chest with a fake bottom. Where would that be at, necessarily? You're down for the count. We added to notebook. What's that? Um. Uh, student saw a professor looking through the dictionary, encyclopedia section of the library. I saw a professor looking through the dictionary in the encyclopedia section of the library. Uh, what? What do you mean she was looking through that? I'm confused. So the encyclopedia section? I, I think we're done with anything with this. I think that was a clue that I needed to know where to go in here. I just trial and error the shit. Uh, debate classroom. This isn't a debate classroom. Right? Large chest. Oh, wait, this is. Uh, and bottom slightly cracked. Inside, you find a few astronomical gadgets of uh, more use to 17th century sailors than to you searching the chest. You find a false bottom lifting that reveals an old book. No, book is too ordinary a word. This curious volume, it is a tome, book of stun. Hello. The tone in this enchantment stuns the target, causing the loss of a turn? Oh man, I want that. Uh, hmm, something gotta go. Oh, I know what I can do. Move. Gotta switch places. All right. Uh, 
find a mysterious book. Check. Alright. I think we got everything now. I think we have everything. I think we've done everything. Nice. Nice, 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 nice. Alright. Oh, you're back at last. Did you find the cause of the commotion? We took care of it, Doc. Still, there might be trouble ahead. We discovered another clue as to what happened to Professor Tillingist, as well as an enemy. An enemy of Wilhelmina, Poppycock. Everyone liked her, even the students. Do you know any reason why she requested exclusive access to the science lab for several days? What? No, she had no need of a lab. As an astronomer, she spent most of her time in the observatory, not among flasks and beakers. The broken glass we found in Professor Tillingist's house looked like it might have been a flask or beaker. Here, this is the key to the science lab. You can find the entrance in front of Wilhelmina's classroom. God damn it. Who, who are you? Ah, uh, see the engine during the ruckus in the corridor. Uh, has hidden stuff inside of Professor Weather's office. Despite taking shelter, he still looks fearful. Um, calm down. Thank you so much. Um, damn, I would rather have that than the fucking bandages. Uh, move. Hmm. Damn it, I want some more item space. Uh. Ooh. What is this again? Medical book, healing bonus. This protects from range damage. Ooh, you know what? You know what? I'm gonna have him use this. Use. All right, it took some damage, but okay. Here. Alright. That works. Oh, wait, wait. Let's talk time again. Lowers, strokes his long white beard. Competitive matter. You'll find the science lab in the corridor. So right. Front maybe means like. Oh my god. There's stuff here. Yes, it was worth it. Uh, some cigarettes. Uh, move to. I'm gonna leave it here. God damn it! It's gonna be another fight. Was unlocked. How did you? I could have sworn I locked that door. You'll regret opening it. I don't like the looks of this fellow. Look what he did to that god. Grab him before he tries it with us. Okay. <laughs> All right. There goes my sanity. Ah. <sighs> uh. I could walk up. Ah, oh, spellcaster, huh? Okay. 
Um, hmm. I gotta be close to do anything anyway. So. In turn. Oh yeah. Definitely fucking shoot now. Overwatch. Go. Uh, what is this? Book of Strain. Book of Stun. Uh. Yeah, we're gonna use Book of Stun. Wait a minute. I think I need to be a little closer. Okay. Yeah. No, it's four for the book of stun. Shit. Uh, refocus. Mm. I'm stunned. Oh no! He just saved my fucking life. Ooh. Uh, he looks like he's got a fist, so I'm just gonna. Stunned. Stunned her? Oh no! Okay. Focus. Oh, he's down. When an investigator's health drops to zero during a fight, he or she will be dropped to the ground until the end of the fight until you use the epinephrine item. He's one member of the group survives the fight. All the knockdown investigators will stand back up. Small part of HP restoration being knocked down will also trigger a sanity check for the effect. Alright. Alright. I do have an epinephrine. So. I'm gonna target you again. Come on. Ah, damn it. Overwatch, actually. And then we're going to go ahead and punch this guy. Damn it, I don't have another one. I think you eat. Okay. That's uh, fair, I guess. Damn it! He fucking healed. Well, we'll come back to the end of the fight. No. Uh oh. Out of bullets. I probably should have killed these assholes first. Uh, 
Just one goddamn. He's gonna heal again. No, he attacked her. Oh, he's dead next around it. Oh no! Swing on hers. Alright. Um I need him out of here. Next person I move getting shot. Damn it! Why wasn't it a fucking... Alright. Oh, he is stunned. He is stunned. They blocked me in. These motherfuckers blocked me in. They blocked me in. Oh my god. They blocked me in. That was smart. I ain't gonna lie. It was smart. I gotta heal myself. I got three. Was it you or you? Okay. There we go. Critical. What the? F uh, I can't even play around it. So okay. Are you serious? God damn it. Are you serious? It stunned me? You are fucking shitting me. I had it all against me at that, that point. But I do understand something now. I need to... It's The magic guy can stun you, but he's not as dangerous as I thought he was. Is this the last place I'll say? I guess so. Yeah, it's the last place I saved. Um Now this is all good. This is all good. How did you? I don't like. Look what he. All right. 
I'm gonna let them come to me this time. Honestly. Uh. Oh, I know how I'm gonna do this. Oh, I, I miscalculated it. I got it in my turn. I'm fine now. Yeah, I'm in my turn. No. It's gonna be you. Cause you can stun. That asshole can stun people. There we go. And then what I want to do is I'm going to use the book of stun. I can't reach. Uh, I should move up, move here, and then I will refocus. Stun me. See, that's the problem. He can stun me. You're the problem. Um, hopefully it won't reverse back on her. Yeah, there we go. And then that's it. And now it's my turn. No, no. I want you dead. I need him dead. And then. He healed that asshole. I don't know why. Oh no! That fucking pipe, bro. I might have to give her a knife. I might have to give her a knife. needs to be dead. I do. Uh, 
I can shoot her or I can shoot him. Um, very sad, I guess. At least I have fast in moment. And he's gonna punch me and kill her. Yeah. And knock her, slam the fuck out. to move up and then I'm gonna end my turn uh. 10 what kind of bullshit is that Can I not use it this turn? Is that what the problem? Okay, I guess I can't use it this turn. I probably should heal. Yeah, I gotta heal. It says I can't use it. I wonder why. Um. Is it because I'm too low on health? It's gonna stun me in it. I incurred a trauma. Critical hit slightly lowered. All right. Ah, that gave me a stun. But I had cigarettes, so I'm good. this again and then I'm gonna shoot him like I plan to do the last goddamn time come on come on out of bullets anywhere out of bullets You heal. Six, huh? Got him. That's what the fuck I'm talking about. Everybody get up. <laughs> Damn, you're on a lovely time on the beach. Initiative slightly lowered. Okay, all right. What just happened? We got beat the fuck up. That's what happened. That man cast a spell. Oh, I know how that sounds, but you saw it with your own eyes. Something Wilhelmina researched proved dangerous, fatally so for her. God damn. Oh. Use. I'm gonna use 
another one. Use. Let's see, what you got? Six and he has eleven. Move. Move. Down here. She's just going to have to be odd man out right now. What the fuck? What does it say on the board? Uh, class notes, chalkboard. Uh, partially erased as if someone had began to clear the board before noticing enormous do not erase notice. So these douchebags all disintegrated or something. What's this? Dirty bandages. Move. Okay. Over here. I don't know why they would keep dirty bandages between the pages. It's weird. Down. Oh, down. Negative one. Why? Clue added to notebook. What's the clue that was added? Let's see. This piece was found on the priest's court. Of the places was found. Anything else? Uh, the scrap paper in his pocket has found a list of locations. Professor telling us mansion, university, the asylum, and something called a witch's house. Uh, scattered pages and notebooks litter the area. It might be tedious to search it all, but doing so it might turn up an overlooked clue. Many of jumbled notes mention the eminent passage of Comet Professor Tingus prepared to be studying. seen anything like it no matter its origin you must admit it is a scientifically important discovery that container looks the same as the broken glass we found at professor Tillinger's house do you suppose someone took one there one more note in the tune we follow i love how he um talks like that with worm-like creature with strange tentacle-like growths lies on the operating table. It appears dead or dormant. Something about its strange appearance strikes revulsion into your heart. This thing is abomination. Rather than let it, the students find it, you decide to burn. We can't just leave this thing behind. We have to destroy the body. Burn it. You can't know how this creature's flesh will react to flame. Don't take the risk. You're right. We can't let anyone else get a hold of this thing. A professor telling us spent as, at least as much time on the uh, Mesotonic University as she did in her own home. There's no better place to start investigating her activities before her gruesome murder. Mm, investigate president. All right, well, did it. Uh, Roland Banks, daydreaming. Okay. Gravekeeper Albert Hatcher is the only one who saw how my body left the cemetery. And 
whatever it was, broke his sanity. Questioning a madman might not be easy, but it's the only lead you have. Okay. Uh, I will come one trauma every time he or she doesn't participate in a scenario. Choose carefully who you choose to bring with you. Damn. So I'm going to have to keep somebody here just to get past a trauma. Ah, <sighs> shit. Daydreaming. And a cute fuck. Oh, well, daydreaming isn't that bad, right? Hmm. Well, uh, I think that's going to do it for me tonight. I actually like this game. I really do. I uh, I think I'm going to keep going with this. Honestly, I find it interesting. It's challenging, and uh, there's a lot of thought that has to go into it. So, with that being said, I hope everybody's doing well. Taking care of each other. <laughs> taking, um, you know, taking time out for themselves. To uh, all you guys out there who watch me now or later, thank you. You know what I mean? And uh, if you like what I'm doing over here, you love the legends that I uh, play with down in my files. Let's go ahead and check those guys out. They keep you company day or night, as I always say. And uh, if you want to catch any of my past playthroughs, please go to the, uh, the Legendary Boogie Night over at YouTube.com and uh, check me out. And uh, you'll find all the great stuff that I've done in the past. Uh, to my boys in blue, you guys are sentinels of the community and you sort of uphold the laws of this country. Some of you ain't doing it, but a lot of you are. To those who are, please take care of yourselves and your partners while you're out there. It's a dangerous job. Please stay safe. To my veterans, you guys are fucking heroes, goddamn legends, and you survived the hardest thing that you're ever going to go through. I know things seem hard sometimes and uh, we get in our head that uh, it's worse than it ever was. But uh, nah, you uh, you can endure this and you are uh, calling friends, family, mother, father, sister, brothers, battle buddies, significant other, whatever it takes to get you up and running again. We all get tired. So it's OK to take a knee, but don't drive that back and do not lay down. Stay on target. Stay on point. Do what the fuck you need to do. You know what I'm talking about. And with that being said, as always, I have been the legendary boogie night. Good luck. Good night. God bless. And remember to always stay legendary.